All right, sorry about that, everyone. Technical difficulties. The dodgy cable for my mic. Load this save up now. Um, sorry for anybody that was in, uh, watching five minutes ago. I always have to restart my computer. So uh, when my mic just stops working, it's really frustrating. Yeah, so I'm back on. Josh, can you hear me okay now? Hopefully you can. Let me know. Uh, let me know if you can hear me okay, Josh. I did do an audio test just to make sure, but give me the uh, okay. You can hear me. But anyway, uh, just hot. let's just do a quick recap like I did before. So, um, in the summer window in season three, we signed. Deli Ali, Hartman, Rubin, Diego Costa, Amadou uh, Dante, Anderson Durate, Luciano Rodriguez, Michael Kayoda, and then later on in the summer window, we signed these players on the free transfer just to give our squad a bit of depth. Most of these won't be playing first team football for us. Um, ah, good. Cheers, Josh. Thank you. Hope you're okay, mate. Uh, hello to anybody else in the chat. Thank you for joining me today. Um, yeah, we signed Matthews Kuna. Um, I did check the pronunciations, make sure I get it right. And then we signed Hung Min Song as well. Um, Josh, I can't remember if you were with us near the end yesterday. Josh, were you with us yesterday in the end? Because you, you had work, so I think you, you stopped talking after a while, so I assumed uh, busy with work stuff. Yeah. So did you? So you weren't there when I signed. I, I couldn't. I didn't go for Griezmann in the end. I decided to go for Son. So because Liverpool were after Son, so I decided to go for him. I didn't think he'd be available, and I managed to get him. He's only on a eleven-month contract, so I don't know if that means he's going to retire soon. But I thought for one season, sod it, because I can sign these younger players down the road if I really wanted to. It's not a long. It's not going to be a long-term save. So there's no point signing Wonder Kids. If I was doing a save where I was a team for 10 years, then I'd just be targeting Wonder Kids and build team after team. Um, but yeah, so I signed Sun. Um, and then we have played four games so far. We've won three. We drew the last game. We've got 10 points. So we're doing well this season, unbeaten after four games. Um, I have no idea about the prime sub. Um, so I've got I've got no idea, but if you can Google it and find out, and then we can either do it live on here or whatever. But yeah, I mean, I appreciate your support as it is, Josh. You don't need to. Um, so, I mean, you can just do a normal subscribe to this if you wanted to. Yeah, I know, mate, but don't worry about it, because like I said, at the end of the day, I, I, I don't think I'll get money from it yet anyway, because I'm not monetized from Twitch, so... Don't worry about it too much. Just the best thing you can do is spread the word. Anybody you know that likes watching Football Manager content, get them to watch me on Twitch. And we can chat about random things while I'm playing Football Manager. There we go. That's what I look forward to. Random subjects like hot tub streams. <laughs> gotta bring in, I've got to get 100,000 uh, 100, subs first before I do a hot tub stream. I nicked that idea off uh, Lelujo, by the way. It's not an original idea. Uh, just in case anybody says I'm copying him, I, I am purposely copying him on that one. I don't know if he got 100k subs, though. But yeah. But no, I appreciate any support you give me, Josh. Hope you're okay. What have you been up to today, then? Been up to anything exciting today, Josh? We've got Burnley next. Oh, Josh, I had the biggest burger from Burger King today, the Memphis one, or what they call it, and I'm still recovering from it, and I had it about two hours ago. Oh, I'm so bloated. Oh, he's bigger than my belly. You already get, you're already bored of your Newcastle save. Bloody hell, Josh. 
You're worse than me. You've got to think of it like this. What type of saves do you enjoy the most on Football Manager that you feel like? What was your longest ever save on Football Manager? How many, like, tell me what your longest save on Football Manager was. Let's start with that. All right, so here's our lineup. Proven in goal, KOD is right back, Diamande in defence with Inicio, Hartman is left back, Bruno Gomez and Joe Linton, Ali Q on the right wing, Brian Diaz in the middle, Gordon on the left, and Ossinham up front. Yeah, that's probably why you're getting bored, because you win all the time. So you need to pick a save where it's really hard. So it'll either be hard financially or hard because the players you've got are rubbish. Or both why don't you try and look at the what the the worst team in the english football leagues is um for facilities and money and stuff like that and then just start with them we've got a penalty already that's good awesome man oh, come on awesome man. Why don't you start a save with Lazio? You enjoyed that save with Lazio when we did that network game. I was Roma, weren't I? And you were Lazio and you bloody thrashed me because you had Immo Immo Immobile, whatever his name is, Immobile, however you pronounce his name. Lazio is probably a good team for you to be. Or Fiorentina. You could always be Fiorentina. Lot of, you said you wanted to do an Italian. Yeah, you said, why don't you start saving with Fiorentina? There you go. You could also stream it as well. If you stream it as well, people might, you know, join in and start chatting with you. I just, I don't think I'll be able to do it because I'm just so bloody busy with everything else. I can probably come along at some point, though, and chat to you. The least I can do is you bloody doing it for me. But um, I won't be able to do it on, like, a regular basis like you've been doing it for me. Just don't have the time at the moment, mate. Do a uh, few hours of YouTube content for nearly every day. And then I do the Twitch stream every day. And then obviously I've got my own personal life stuff to do. So, uh, But I will try if you wanted to join and do that. Austin Men's playing rubbish, so I'm taking him off. But you, got, you just said Fiorentina, Sporting and Lens. So you could just do... Few seasons with Fiorentina and then do a new save. You got three saves there. That that's nine scenes, you know, nine ten seasons worth of stuff you can do there. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm 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 a bit jealous of you. I wish I was getting paid to to do that. Oh, okay, Dominic Calvin Lewis score, but we're probably going to get it disallowed. That's a shame. Is it going to get disallowed or is it going to be allowed? Oh, come on, referee. Give Calvert Lewin his first goal. Don't be harsh. Uh, off. I've just realised how bad our subs bench is. We're really, really lacking in quality on the subs bench. I feel like our team's worse than it was last year, which is ridiculous. All right, Joe Linson. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, Durandi. Hello, buddy. Josh, this is Durandi. Durandi, this is Josh. I'm um, sorry. Durandi, this is Zona Mister. Zona Mister is my friend Josh. Um, well, it's funny you say that, Josh, because Durandi is an expert on the Netherlands. So he would probably recommend a team. Durandi, feel free to recommend um, Josh a team to manage in, in, in Netherlands. There you go. I've connected you two together now. But Durandi, thank you for joining me again. I've missed you on the last couple of streams. Just to update you, Durandi, I finished fifth in season two and um, I signed Hung Mung. Hey, I'll show you. I can never pronounce the names right. I managed to sign a Dutchman, though, as well. I'll show you who I signed. You can try and help me pronounce his name. Uh, hold on, it's down here. This one here. I'm going to have a go here. Quillin Dishi. Hartman, Quillindishi Hartman, is that right? Have I got that right at all? Please tell me I've got that slightly right. Yeah, he's a good little left back, Hartman. I wish I signed Valentin Barco though. But yeah, um, Durante, I finished fifth. And then I signed these players since you last seen me. I've got my goalkeepers improved now. 
I've got my left back improved. I've also got him as another as a backup left back. Um, because target was getting old. So and then and then um who else I signed? I signed a few South American players. I signed Michael Coyote. And then I signed a few free transfers and I signed Matthias Kuna and Hong Min Sun. So there you go. That's just to keep you updated. There you go, Josh. Durandis, Durandis come in with a beautiful suggestion. They've got really nice colours as well, haven't they? They're like they're like they're they're orange, aren't they? So um I I always like managing teams with bright, unique colours. So yeah, I think they're in orange, are they? I could be wrong. Let's have a look. Here you go, Josh. I'll even have a look at Volendam for you on here. I think oh I don't know if I've got them actually. Because uh I don't think I've got the Dutch League running. There you go. FC. Look at that. Look at them beautiful kits, Josh. That one's look the third kit looks really nice. Uh there you go. Got some decent players to build on. They are in the Dutch second the Dutch the, the version of the championship in, in Holland. Netherlands, sorry. Um Oh, yeah, that's a... yeah. How are you today, Durandi? Are you okay? You having a nice day? Thank you for joining the stream, my friend. Yeah, um, Zona Mister FM, real name Josh, is a uh, good friend of mine. I've known him for many years. We actually um, had a few network games on Football Manager, so that's how we know each other. Yeah, PSV is always a good option to manage. I'm going to manage them at some point as well. You never know. If I do that European journeyman save, I'm thinking of, one day, one day I might end up as PSV manager in that save. That'll be nice. Yeah, playing Stoke City next. Thank you to you two and anybody else that's in the chat at the moment. Feel free, if you're in the chat and just lurking around, just feel free to say hello, join in the chat. You can have a good old chat about um, Dutch football again. I was impressing Durandi with my uh, knowledge of Netherlands football the other day, wasn't I, Durandi? <laughs> or lack of, sorry. Um, but I was, I was, I was keeping up with you. I was keeping up with you. I wouldn't say I'm a massive expert on Dutch football, but I was uh, timing in with a few names from the past. Listen, we'll praise you. Randy, have you ever done a network save on Football Manager? Maybe you and Josh can. Me, you and Josh can do a network save at some point if you wanted to join in. We could do a Dutch we could do a Dutch network game, couldn't we? Randy could be PSV. I'll be um Freynord. Freynord or however you pronounce it. If Josh wants to be Ajax, he can be Ajax, or he can be um FC twenty or something like that. We didn't we could do it like that. Be interesting little network game we could do. God knows when we'll be able to do it though, because we're all probably very busy, but you know, the the thoughts there, isn't it? Um, so we've got Diego Costa in goal. It's Carabao Cup, so we're going to rotate it full rotation here. We've got Costa in goal, Livermento is right back, Phillips and Inecho in defence with Dante as left back, Hartman in a uh, defensive midfield position with Mbappe, Boots on the right wing, Deli Ali making his debut in as a shadow striker, Gordon on the left, and Calvert Lewin up front. Let's see how we get on with this. Hopefully, Deli Ali will steal the show. Yeah, don't worry, Randy. It's all right, mate. I was just saying about um, having a nice, enjoyable time chatting with you. I was also saying maybe you and me and Josh could do a Dutch League network game at some point if you wanted to. Oh, yeah, AZ or FC Utesh. U U U Utech. Here you go, I'll type it. You know what I'm on about. That one. There you go. 
That team, how have you pronounced that team? I've probably spelled that wrong as well because I think I think there's an R in it, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Sorry, I apologise. I got there in the end. Um, yeah, have you ever done network save before, Drandy? Josh usually beats me um, when we play. Bloody hell, I missed that. There was a goal there. I'm going to replay it for the people who... All right, so there was a corner by Ali Koo. Deli Ali hit it, and then they come off the goalkeeper, and then Dante scored. So, yeah, there we go. Deli Ali already making contribution in this game. Did Deli Ali play a key role in our Carabao Cup success? We'll soon find out. Tried it once, but probably didn't like it. Is that what you're saying? We could do a Portuguese league, um, Portuguese league network game at some point. We could be, one of us could be Benfica, one of us could be Porto, and the other one could be Sporting. And we could do it like in competition with each other. But we could also try and get the Portuguese league to the, be the top league in the world. Get our uh, TV money up and everything. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Sorry to anybody that's watching this on YouTube. I keep forgetting to... I'm trying to figure out how to add the chat in the screen so when you're watching me playing FM, you can see what the other person's typing instead of hearing me because it's probably very confusing for people watching this on YouTube. If you are watching it, I apologise. Maybe stick to the Everton series for now until I can figure it out. But obviously, if, you know, if you're not that bothered about me yapping and you're just interested in how Newcastle do, that's fine as well. We all... We all experience the game in different ways. Oh, there we go. Calvert Lewin. Out to Gordon. Gordon now. Saved by their goalie. Randy, maybe you and maybe you and Josh could have your own little network save because I might be too busy at the moment. But, um, but, but yeah, up to you. Any any Randy? Any recommendations for Italian teams? Josh likes the Serie A. Any recommendations? Josh, you thought about um, managing Atlanta because they have like a bit of a, a unique in a way transfer policy, don't they? That might be interesting for you. I think they play a certain way as well. Right, cute with the ball now. Phillips and that. Let's see what happens from here. Dante. Come on, give it to Deli Ali. Give it to the man. Don't need to. Ali Coop scores. Right, good goal. Dante uh, scores on and gets an assist, so he's man of the match so far. Um, right, Hartman with the cross. Mbappe, not the Mbappe, unfortunately, it's his brother. True story, when I did the Youth Academy Challenge with uh, SC Toulon, I think in the fifth or sixth season, I managed to have a youth take with the next Mbappe, who was actually called Mbappe. Um, no relation to Kylian Mbappe, I don't think, or I could be wrong. But um, yeah, he was pretty good for me, and then he ended up wanting to leave, so I had to sell him to a bigger club, but he was there briefly, but he did well. And then he went to Inter Milan and, and didn't work out. So, um, but never managed to sign him back. Right, let's take off some of these tired players when we can. Who are we going to put in for Hartman? Uh, I'll just chuck him in there. 3 1 up anyway. Deli Ali scored. I missed bloody Deli Ali scoring. I didn't remember that. We are. This is Deli Ali's goal. Deli Ali, man of the match, probably. Livermento with the pass. Lovely little little uh, slice of a shot there by Deli Ali. Resurrecting Deli Ali's career, lads. Yeah, PSV's trying to go for that unbeaten season, aren't they? Um, Randy, tell, tell Josh about that. That season that you told me about where they literally were that close and becoming unbeaten and 
uh, in the season. Because Josh would probably be quite interested in that. Um, because that was a good team that you had, wasn't it? There was quite a few good players in that team, from what I remember. Yeah, all right, let's get back on with this. We're free one up. Deli Ali scoring and providing. Is he going to get another one? No, he doesn't. Oh, and one of my youngsters got the goal. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. Was that offside? Oh, that'd be such a shame for the young lad. Oh, that's such a shame. Poor, Bill, poor bugger. He scored in his debut then. Is he any good, Musemi? Oh, no, wrong player. Sorry. Uh, where is he? There we go. Josh Musembi. Eh, he's all right. He's not anything special, but he's all right. Yeah, that's the one. Give, uh, give Josh a bit of a uh, history lesson in that, because he'd probably be quite interested in that. It might inspire him to manage PSV. Because, Josh, you could try and see if you can uh, go undefeated in that season. With That could be one of your targets, to do a, a season where you're undefeated in the league with PSV. That could be like something that will keep you interested. Unfortunately, Josh gets, uh, he, he's similar to me, Josh gets bored of playing football manager after a while, playing the same team. And he, he especially gets bored if he's winning all the time. So that uh, Volin, Volindam that you recommended would probably be a very good choice for him. Keep him interested. I had an interesting save with FC Groin, Groingen because I, I managed them when they had when Robin was there for that season. So uh, I tried to build a decent team with Robin still there. That was quite enjoyable. Hello to anybody else in the Twitch that's joined. Feel free to contribute in the chat if you want to say hello or ask me a question or you, you, you need some help on Football Manager. I mean, I've been playing Football Manager now since since when Championship Manager was was Alan, 92, 93. Football, uh, Championship Manager Italia was uh, one of the first games I played. Absolutely loved that game. Gianluca Lentini out for 12 months on there. As soon as you start with AC Milan, it was always frustrating. Uh, we've got a Saudi team after Tenali. That's not happening. Uh, we're going to sign you a new contract, young man. Uh, he, won't, he won't bother. He doesn't want to. Oh, balls. Okay. Uh, we don't need to worry too much, though, because he's got a four-year contract, so he's not going anywhere. We don't need the money, so we're not going to accept it. Unless the owner accepts it and we've got no choice. So you were rail so that Why don't you do another one with rail? Oh, you don't like that? Okay. So you want something similar to rail so that So you want something similar to the Spanish league, but not the Spanish league, where you've got spending limits. Have you thought about maybe managing in somewhere like Belgium or something, where you can just buy loads of African or French players and stuff like that, and they don't really, it doesn't really matter to the squad registration? Because I've had very enjoyable saves in Belgium. Or Holland. Holland would be the same. Holland would probably be the closest one you get. If you picked a team in Holland, like uh, like a mid-table uh, team in Netherlands. Sorry, Netherlands, Grandi, I do apologise. Um, you could be Hen Vernon or uh, Vitis or AZ or FC Utrecht, and you can just Utrecht, and you can just build a team from scratch with them. You won't get much money, but you can use your youth system make a bit of money from player sales and then just slowly pardon me just slowly build from there might be worth it there you go Josh have a little read of Drandy's uh, what happened to PSV that season it was quite interesting to be honest so I'm quite quite interested in listening to him talk about it he's a big big PSV fan it's nice to have um, an international viewer. So uh, it, it makes me it makes me feel better. It makes me feel like I'm uh, I'm popular in 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 Netherlands. Randy, have you managed to uh, convince any PSV fans to watch me on Twitch yet? No, it's all right, Randy. Don't worry. Sometimes it's better just to let it linger. 
Just let just explain it and then just leave it. Don't worry, you don't need to sum it up, mate. Josh is like me, he's a big football fan, so he probably enjoy the the background behind it all. Yeah. Josh is making me feel really old now. <laughs> you remember watching that as a kid? Um Actually, saying that though, you're not much. You're not much younger than me, are you, Josh? I'm 39. I think you're like in your early 30s, if I remember. Because when you say it, when you you watched it when you were a kid, if it was 2004, I would have been. Uh, oh, I'd only been 21 myself. So I suppose I was technically a kid. Um, just feels so long ago now. Drink of choice today, Vinto Energy Drink. It's very nice. Randy, I know this is going to probably sound really stupid. Me asking this, do you have a do you have a a, a fast food place called Burger King in in Netherlands? I assume you do. I had a Burger King today, and I'm still bloated two hours later. Oh, Drandy, you could teach us some Dutch swear words, couldn't you? And then if anybody annoys me, I can just swear at them in in, uh, in Dutch and they won't know what I'm on about. How old are you, Drandy? Right, here's the line up here. So we've got Costa in goal, Libramento is right back, Diamande, Ineat, Juris and defence, Hartman is left back, Hartman in the middle of midfield with Joe Linton, Messi is right winger, Brahim Diaz is a shadow striker, Pedro Gonzalez on the left, and Osimhen up front. Uh, let's see how we do against the Holland. The Holland, the Fulham, sorry. Oh, you're just a baby. You're just a baby, you're making me and Josh feel really old, especially me. No, I'm not saying you're out of touch, I'm not having a bit. I just didn't know if Burger King was like a. Um, a worldwide thing or just in certain countries like America and England. I assume you would have had you would have some sort of Burger King there. I was only asking because I didn't know like if you have them frequently. I have um I don't have them very often but I had one today and it was called the Memphis Burger and it was massive. It was like two beef patties with hash browns on onion rings or hash browns on top in inside the burn inside the bun and I was I was just like oh I mean, I'm a big guy and I can eat my food, but bloody hell, I struggled. But it was very nice. It was really, I recommend it. Next time you go to Burger King, get the Memphis Burger, as they call it. I think it was called the Memphis Burger. Oh, hello, Copsy. Sorry, buddy. You snuck in there. You're all right, mate. Hope you're okay. Uh, I don't know. You... Whatever sound funniest. Which have you got any any Dutch swear words that sound really funny to people like me? We've got to actually we've got to be careful because I don't want to get banned on Twitch. Just be careful. Um, Copsy, to answer your question, the first season is going okay. I've only played this is the fifth league game at the moment. I'm currently six with twelve points. I I signed. Um, Oh, what's his name? Son from Spurs. I signed Son from Spurs. Um, I signed him and I signed Matthews Kuna. Um, and I signed a few other players that come in the summer, but I'll show you. Actually, I'll show you now. I'll show you now, Copsy, and then I'll get on with the game again. But, um, yeah, I signed these players. I'll just to, just to basically just give some depth in certain positions. Dominic Calvin will play sometimes. If need be, but he's not going to play often. Rian Brewster is like an emergency backup. I only signed him because I knew he used to be a wonder kid a couple of years ago, and I thought he might be decent, but he's not. Um, I managed to sign. I managed to sign my uh, my little my little good luck charm. I managed to sign Deli Ali. Cost me seven million from Rotherham, but I managed to sign him. I signed this player who's been really good for me, um, Hartman. And who else have I signed? Um, Trubin and Diego Costa, they're my main goalies. I signed this player, Amadou Dante, who played well in the last game, the Carabao Cup. Anderson Durate and Luciano Rodriguez, who I've sent on loan. 
their ones for the future, and then Michael Coyote. So they come like um, I signed them before the summer, and then these are the players I signed in the summer, like Matthews Kuna for seventy two million and Hung Min Sun for fifty million. So there you go. That's caught you up to date. Right. Okay. Trek Terringer. Terringer. Okay. Yeah, that's that. That I do to Berkeley like it. Oh, okay, fair enough. Here's Copsy. Um, yeah, Durandy. Think of another one. <laughs> think of an easier one for me to pronounce as well. Right, I think we had a goal to sell out just then. Uh, let's take Joe Linton off. Who can we put on? Deli Ali, you're coming on. Deli Ali might end up becoming a regular starter with me, just because I just like, I just like him playing. To be honest, I just feel happier when he's playing. Makes me happy. Uh, uh awesome Hearn. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Klutza. That sounds actually quite good, actually. Klutza. Oh, we're losing 1 0. Damn it. Need to get an e equalizer. Come on. Let's get an equalizer. Let's rescue a point from this game. Who's playing rubbish? Who do we need to take off? Osserman is coming off. Albert Lewin is coming on. Here you go. I'll just, for Copsy, I'll just show you. So, Osserman has got. Um, Zero goals for us so far this season. Um, last season, his first season here, he got 14 goals in 25 league games, but he did score other goals in other competitions. So, yeah, he's doing all right. He's not setting the world on fire like I thought he would, but he's not rubbish either. He's not been a bad signing. Um, but I, I could do with him scoring a few more. Uh, Brian Diaz looks injured, so I'm going to have to take him off. We'll put Ali Coot on. Yeah, yeah, he'll he'll probably get better as the save goes on. I reckon. Um, we'll see. Oh my god, I've got. I tried to take you off. Why didn't you come off? Ali Coop can come on for you. Ali Ali's only just come on. He's injured. Uh, put you on. It's not ideal. We seem to be in 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 season three. Copsy, we seem to be just getting loads and loads of injuries. So we've got a very depleted squad at, uh, squad at times. Yeah, Messi is the greatest of all time, Durandi. Everybody needs to remember that. Other than Pierre Van Hoydunk. Do you remember Pierre, Pierre Van Hoydunk? Maybe it's before your time, Durandi. You're only a youngster. He was uh, one of the greatest ever strikers to play for Nottingham Forest. Um, Van Hoydunk's got a, a son that plays now, and I can't remember who he plays for. Talking of sons of former famous Dutch footballers, how's um, Robin Van Persie's son doing? Who's he playing for at the moment? Is he doing well? Is he playing first in football? We've got Diaz out for two weeks. We've got Zavas out for a week. Oh, a very depleted squad now. Right, we haven't got a game for six days, so I'm just going to holiday. And then I can have a little chat with you lot while I'm holiday. Oh, okay. Durandi, your football knowledge, considering you're only 17 years old, your football knowledge is very good. I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you, I, uh, I tip my cap to you, uh, tip my cap to you. Oh, okay. So Van Persie's at Brainord, is it? Okay. Is he, is he, is he, is he, is, uh, is he getting a lot of rave reviews or is he just co coasting on his dad's uh, coattails, basically? There you go, Josh. You could take over as Freynord and you could literally just just do 10 years with Freynord and just have Van Percy there. And um basically just you could look at just um you could look at just trying to see how many goals you can get Van Percy to score. Yeah, Shaquille. Let me have a look, see how he's doing. Yeah, 
heal um, Percy. God, he definitely looks like his dad, doesn't he? Does he play as well as his dad? Technically, Van Percy, um, Shaquille Van Percy, because he's born in London, he could play for England if he wanted to, if he was good enough. He was at Man City youth team, and then he went to Freynoid. Um, he's yet to play any first team football, though. But he's only like he's only young. How old is he? He's only seventeen. Same age, you, same age as you, Drundy. I'll I'll end up doing a, a net, I'll end up doing a save with PSV online at some point, Drundy. Um, and and then basically you can you can help me turn PSV into the greatest team of all time. The uh, boring stuff out of the way. Anderson Durati didn't play well. Right, we're gonna give him a we're gonna give him a telling off. Why aren't you playing well, young man? You were telling off. I will leave you for now because you're doing alright. Right, let's first next game. What are you a good enough player that Durandi that you could be a professional footballer? If you can you play
Hello everyone. Sorry about that. Um no, do not FM. I appreciate you lads. Um if you can hear me. Do you all hear me okay? Randy, are you still there? Hopefully. Popsy, uh Josh. Anyone there? Ah, quite annoying. Are you there, lads? Yep, yeah, you can hear me. Good. Sorry about that. It's this cable, basically. I think it's the... I, think, I thought it was the cable, but I've replaced them since. And um, I think it's the, the little pins inside the back of the mic. I need to um, take it to CEX, see if they can fix it, because they're the ones I suck that I bought it from. And I think it's the little pins in the back, because it, it keeps the, the cable doesn't... Uh, it, just, it just... I don't know. You know what I mean? It's just dodgy, basically. It's hard to explain. Your air, Josh. Uh, Copsy, Drandy, are you still there? Have I missed anything? Were you able to chat in between while you were waiting, or did you have to come back on? Um, sorry about that. Yeah, all right, we've got Tottenham now. Uh, yeah, Durandi was, uh, Josh Durandi was the guy I was speaking to you about the other day. Nice, he's nice lad. Um, yeah, right. We've got Trubin and Goal, KOD is right back, Diamande and Botman centre defence, Hartman, Bruno Gamerez and Joe Linton in there linking up together as and then Messi on the right wing, Pedro Gonzalez is midfielder, and Sun and Austin Hen. Hopefully uh Durandi and Cops will be back soon, Josh. Hopefully. Yeah, you should do a save with PSV, or you could do a save with PSV and sign Van Persie from from Freynor. He could be one of your long term targets for uh, PSV. You try and sign him. Yeah, you definitely need to find a save that will keep you involved in it. I also think as well. That you should resurrect you uh, do a new diary for new japan um on tew because they've got a hell of a different they've got quite a bit different roster now than they did of oh, some with a goal against his former club um they've got a definite different roster than they did when you did it all them years a few them few years ago that would be like an interesting spin because they've got obviously ziggler and matt riddle um Okada, you don't know whether he's coming or going. Tanahashi is basically part of the management team there now. Um, you got Brian Danielson that's back in there, basically. So you definitely got some. You could definitely do some interesting stuff with them. Um, and you're a big fan of New Japan, so you you probably have more interest in. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have a clue. But I was getting into New Japan just watching your diary. I enjoyed all the little different factions and stuff like that, so you should maybe do that. What do you reckon, Josh? All right, off cement. Adrian Gonzalez, 2 0, get in. Oh, there we go. Got his finger on his ear. Finger on the ear, never good. Oh, it's good in this, it's good in this uh, one, then. 2 0. Seems to be all over him in this game. I assume Josh has had to actually do some work. That's why he's not replying. He'll reply eventually. Right. Ah, uh, 2 1. Okay, that's fine. I got too carried away thinking we're going to crash them.
Ah, oh, 2-2. Two, two. Missed that because I was doing something else. This is not good. We were 2-0 up and now we're 2-2. Two, two. It's, uh, it's uh, great in the team. I'm not happy. Nearly bloody conceded again then. Come on. 2-0. Bloody bunch of wallies. Oh, you are there. <laughs> Hello, Joss. Why don't you do Volendam then? Why don't you be FC Volendam? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause this. I'm going to have a look at the Dutch League for you. No, it's okay. Fine. I hope you're... Oh, yeah, because you... Yeah, yeah, because you're not... Right, let's have a look at... Uh, I don't know. Right, let's have a look at the Dutch League. Find you a Dutch League team while we're in. You don't want to be Freyno or VPSV. I know they've already won the championship, but... Uh, Randy thinks they're really good. Uh, I need to. I need to do this instead. Been on this website in a while. Soccerway. Have a look at soccerway.com. Uh, competitions. You're a divisé. I'll tell you a team. I'll tell you a team that would be a challenging team for you. Is RKC. They got a nice yellow kit as well. I'm all about the kits. You see. Hopefully it's a it's a it's a, a decent looking nurse and not a you know at least it will make it interesting. There, Josh, <laughs> I'm only joking, mate. Uh, I don't want to get you in trouble with the wife. Yeah, so um, yeah, RK, RK, have a look on. Go on, go on. Just type in Dutch League and just have a look at the teams. See if they any take your fancy. Um, Excelsior would be a good one just because they got a really cool name. Fortuna, Zitard, they've got decent shirts. NEC's got decent kits as well. Go ahead, Eagles. Ah, that's a good team for you. Go ahead, Eagles. Um, trying to see if they've got any players that you might you might recognise. Probably a good thing if you don't recognise them. Yeah, there's no players I can recognise on there. Yeah, have a look at Go Ahead Eagles. There you go. Randy might be back in a minute. He might be able to recommend you some Dutch teams. Any reason why you don't want to be PSV? Is it for the same reasons as Feyenoord? Why don't you type in Dutch teams that has never won the league? And then that way it'll make it easier for you to pick a team. Have a look at the Dutch teams that's won, like, nothing. See if you can build them into title contenders. Yeah, right. Um, we're in possession now. Done against his former teams, already scored. Let's hope he can get the, the winner. Hartman now drives it from defence all the way down the wing. Backs it up to Hartman now. Lovely little pass to Sun. Sun with a lovely little pass to Victor Ossiman, who scores, but I think VAR is going to rule this out again. Okay, so you don't want to be first three, that's fine. So have a look at the Dutch teams. Um, it's never won the Dutch league. In fact, do that now while I'm playing this game, and then let me know which teams that haven't played. Um, why don't you Why don't you buy a mystery shirt from SurpriseShirts.co.uk and ask for and ask for a Dutch league team with bright colours, but then just say to them like, because you can in the details you can tell them which teams you don't want to be, and you could just say, can you not can you not pick a, a shirt with IX, PSV or Freynord, and then. Yeah, see what they come up with. Might be worth a go in it. If you've got the money, if you've got the money spare. They're not they're not massive expensive. You can get I got one for 27 quid. I mean they gave me Rafe Rovers, but I did ask for a pink shirt. So I think that was the only one they probably had available. I can't really complain. But so I don't I don't I think Rafe Rovers would probably be a quite interesting. It would be more of an interesting save for me if I hadn't already if I hadn't already recently done a Scottish non league save. But because I've done a Scottish non league save recently offline, it just feels like I'm repeating myself with that. But it is what it is. I can't go. I've got to do it. So I will do it. And I'll do it to my best of my abilities. Hopefully, I'll get the Scotland national team job at some point so I can be a, a dual manager. Or I might start as Rafe Rovers and Scotland. So it'll make it a little bit more interesting than trying to get Scotland to win the World Cup. And then I'll just say, I can't. Stop the save until I've won them a major tournament. There we go, Joe Linton. That's what we like to see. Good old Joe Linton. 
Right, Hartman's knackered. As you, where are you? You are. Door knackered, Bruno. Put in there. And we'll put you there. Take off sun. We'll put there. Um. Josh, which uh, which teams haven't won the Dutch league then? Actually, I'm gonna have a look for you. Dutch league teams that have never won the title, the title, but the title. So yeah, go Eurodivisie. Um. Well, Ajax have had the most league titles, which is fair enough, with 36 goals. PS 36 titles, sorry. PSV have had 24 titles, and Cranor's had 16. Um, there's only three other clubs that have won the, the Eredivisie title, and that's AZ and FC20. Um, FC Utrecht, uh, I think they won it. Uh, yeah, but have a look. Have a look. I'm rambling on. But yeah, have a look and see how you get on with it. Yeah, Atalanta. If you want to do a Serie A, like I say, Atalanta was probably a good one. Oh, bloody hell. We drew 3-3 free free in the end. Unbelievable. Sliding down the league now. I'm not happy about this. Gosh, I blame you. <laughs> when everything goes wrong, honey, I'm blaming you. Right, let's holiday for the next match. Big game against Man United. Yeah, Atlanta, Lazio. Maybe, maybe you could go down to Serie B and manage um, uh, Sampdoria, bring them back up to glory, or Parma, or Palermo, Palermo, sorry, or Venezia. Loads of Italian teams um, that you can manage that you probably enjoy. You've got to really think about that because the last thing you want to do is start a save, do it for a year, get do it for a season, get bored, and then you're back to square one. You've got to make it. You've got to pick a team that you know you're not going to win straight away. So you need you need to pick a team that's going to take you three or four seasons. That's why I think you should start with a lower league side, whether it's in England, Spain, or yeah, Udinese is good. Um, you'll get bored of Udinese though. This is the problem. I know you too well. You're honestly better off doing a lower league save. Have a look at Fallen Giants in the in Italian league, or there's a few. There's like there's 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 a few that you could probably do. Um, Spain Spanish league. I know the Spanish league's restricted because of that. I know that puts you off, but maybe the Portuguese league or something. To pick a lower team. Have a thing. Don't rush into it because you'll you'll start a save and then you'll get bored. Don't don't play football manager. Just start a save and then get bored. It's just you've got to have. See, when I do a save now, I think about it for weeks before I do it. So by the point by the time I'm actually going to start the save, I'm really excited about doing it, and it kind of keeps me interested. And I try and make it. I try and put restrictions in to make it a bit harder for me. Have you ever thought about doing a youth only save where you don't sign anybody? That's what you should do. Why don't you pick a team either in England or France? France would be a good one. Pick a team in the France lower divisions um, and then basically don't sign any players and just only pick the players that you've got and players that come through youth recruitment. But then every season, you'll hopefully have three or four players that you can add to your squads. And then build and build, and then and then you'll you'll get attached to them players because they're come from you system. So you'll you'll be more invested in how they do. Might be worth a try, mate. I don't know. I mean, you might just want to have a break from FM altogether if you feel like you keep starting saving. That's what I tend to do. If I feel like I'm doing that, I'll tend to just have a break for a bit, and then if I give it a couple of weeks. I'm I'm desperate to play it again by that point. I'm like you, though. There's very rarely any games I actually like playing consistently. So Football Manager is the one game that I've, I've been able to play consistency, consistently. Sorry. Joe yeah, Larson, never heard of him. I would play for, um, play for Celta Vigo, didn't he? Nice. 
right. We're nearly at the stage of playing the next game. Hello, Durandi. Yeah, welcome back, Durandi. Sorry about that, mate. Um, I think I've fixed the mic a bit. Yeah, right. Welcome to anybody else in the Twitch stream. Feel free to say hello. Yeah, Durandi, we're trying to think of a team for Josh to pick. He gets bored very easily. So, um, he's like me. He's, he's probably managed every team on the game at one point or another. Very hard to pick a, a game, a team where he'll stick with it, like similar to me. I'm not having a go at you, Josh, because I'm the same. He'll stick with it. So, uh, Why don't you why don't you do like a save in an obscure nation like uh I think now like an African nation or something like like Ivory Coast and then what you what your aim is to basically just produce players for the national team and you could do it as like a joint thing like a national team thing actually no you you probably won't like that uh, ignore that one what you should do is be a Spanish team and just sign Argentinian players or South American players. And see if you can make money from signing them. That right team to play Man United is Truven back in goal, Coyote is right back, Diamande in the HR in centre defence, Hartman is left back, Bruno Gomez and Joe Linton centre midfield, Paulo Messi on the right, Pedro Gonzalez in the middle, Son on the left, Austin N up front. That's a strong team to play. That is, yeah, FC Vaduz, yeah, but he's already managed them, Durandi. I think I see you mentioned. Are you did you are you on about Volendam? I don't think he wants to do Dutch League. Um, I, I was trying to get him to have a look at the Dutch teams that's never won the league title before. Um, I think he's got his heart set on the Italian League, but Josh, Josh is anything like me. He'll 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 think about twenty teams and then confuse himself and then just not pick any of them. <laughs> yeah, we already managed them. Um, yeah. There you go. Have another think, Durandi. Get your thinking cap on. Actually, Josh, I have actually got a document with a few teams that I've put down for suggestions for me. I'll just find it for you. I might be able to. Uh, have a look. There you go. So if I just copy and paste these, you, they might be interesting to you at some point. Or anybody else that wants to there you go josh sorry there's no I, I, yeah there's no commas but uh yeah i should have done that hold on hold on i'm going to type that again so it makes it a little bit easier for you to be able to digest it uh, i can't remember the reasons why i've named these teams there was probably I probably saw a video and probably thought, oh, they better make a good save. Watford would probably be a good one because they always sack their manager every three months. I think the aim of that save is not to get sacked in the first three months. There you go. I've I've done it like that now, so it's easier for you to read. Sorry about that. Right, we're nil nil. Twenty seven minutes. Uh, Peyote with the free kick. We unfortunately lose it. Get the ball back. Go Linton now. Pedro Gonzalez. Oh, what a pass. That was a beautiful pass. But unfortunately, I think Osimhen timed his run wrong. We'll soon find out. That was a beautiful pass, though. Oh, it was awarded. Excellent goal. I don't know. I'm going to show you that goal again. That goal deserved to be repeated. Look at this. Joe Linton, look at Gonzalez now. What a beautiful pass that was, like, like a bloody knife through butter. Yeah, don't worry, Josh. It's all right, mate. Don't worry. Um, what save are you doing? Randy, did you, did you decide to do a save on Football Manager in the end after we had our last conversation, or have you got a bit bored? Are you still, is it PSV? I can't remember. Would it be realistic to be able to sign Shaquille Van Persie for PSV from Freynoid, or do them transfers never happen? Do PSV never ever buy any players from Freynoid and vice versa? 
probably similar to like Man United players going to Man City and vice versa. It just doesn't really happen. Obvious reasons. Man United with the overhead kick there. Never seen that before in FM, I don't think. All right, we're still 1-0 up, though. Osamen with the great goal after the pass by Gonzalez. World-class player, in my opinion. He was a great signing for us. How much did we sign him for? 50 million? A good little player so far. Hold on a second. Let me just, let me just check something here. Just see that right. Play for bloody Wolves. He, he signed for Wolves. I know he never played for him, but I don't remember that. Bloody hell. Oh, my, uh, Sam Aleko did well, didn't they? Signing him and then sending him to Sporting for 18.75 million. Fair play to him. There you go. And you learn something new every day. Yeah, probably one of the players that Wolves signed just because he was Portuguese. That would be a good save for you, actually, Josh. Why don't you do a save with Wolves and you only sign, uh, you only sign Portuguese players? Yeah, don't worry, Durandy. Don't worry, mate. Um, I'll be on for another hour and a quarter. But if you don't come back on, don't worry about it. But I appreciate you contributing. Um, I'll be back on Twitch either Monday or Tuesday. Um, check my Twitter, Lucha FM. Check on my Twitter. I will post it. Um, I need to double check with my girlfriend what we're doing. I think we're going out on Monday. I don't think I'll be streaming Monday. Or if I do, it might be later than 2 p.m. It might be like 4 p.m. UK time. I'll let you know, mate. But yeah, you have a nice day. If you get back safely on your bike. Josh, you figured out what you're doing yet? Before this stream is done, I'm gonna I'm, we're gonna figure out a team for you to manage, Josh. What we'll do, we'll do a short list of teams, and then if you want, you can. Uh, I'll do like a random number thing. This uh, use a random number generator, and then whichever number that produces, um, you can pick that one. Oh, there's a spin the wheel thing. If we put loads of teams in the spin the wheel thing, I'll, I'll do it before the end of the stream. And United equalise, unfortunately. We have been the better team, I think. Right. AOD injured again. This is not good. Do I have to, do I have to go for another right back in the bloody January window? I think we'll be right with Livermento, I suppose. Right, Osamen is knackered, so he's coming off. Albert Lewin on. We're very short on attackers now because we sold Isaac and we're, our backup striker is Albert Lewin. I don't think that's good enough. We can play Son up front or Messi up front, I suppose. We're not, we're not desperate in them positions, actually. We can play Comfort as well. He, doesn't, he hasn't been playing regularly. Uh, Joe Linton has been playing rubbish, but we can't substitute. Right, okay. When I um when I have to holiday again, Josh, I'll do that spin the wheel thing on here, and we'll put this we'll put this, all the teams in that you you're thinking about managing, and then we'll get the spin the wheel to pick it. Um, we'll just do it yourself. Actually, just do it yourself. Just type in spin the wheel choice thing. I can't remember what it's called. Doctor Benji did it, but I don't know how. I don't know. I think you just Google spin the wheel. I think it'll just come up. Oh, Son with a lovely little pass to Calvert Lewin, but I think he was offside. I think he was. I think he was too far offside there. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen personally. Uh, no, wishful thinking. Right, let's just keep this point. Do not want to concede now because we can't. I will struggle to get a, an equaliser. Thank you, thank you. Typical Man United. Thank you. Right, come on, let's end this game now. Oh, free kick to them, unfortunately. I thought it was going to be a free kick to us, so. Uh, yeah, we've got the ball. Come on, then. There we go. Right, can we can we make one last chance? We score, maybe? Botman with a nice little pass to Sun. Sun, lovely little pass. Pedro and Messi. 
Messi, go on. Oh, sod off, referee. Ah, oh, come on, let Messi be the hero again. Come on. Yes. Get in. Final Messi. Greatest of all time. Uh, KOD injured out for two weeks now. That's Libramento as our main right back. Right, I'm going to holiday here. Oh. Yeah, I'll probably be playing. I'll be playing till half four today, just mostly because of the the fact that I've had to um, restart the computer twice. So I feel like it's a bit unfair for you lot watching. Right, let's do the spin the wheel thing. Let's see if I can find it first. Spin the wheel. Teams. Uh, we put. Can we put the teams in? Ah, there you go, Josh. I'm gonna send you this. Josh, there you go. There's a link for you, my friend. You're still listening. Edit the wheel. There we go. Uh, we delete all these teams. We can delete all these teams. Excellent. Right. So. Right. Okay. So we'll just do. Josh, give me. Hold on, uh, Lazio, Atlanta, uh, Udinese, EZ, these, all the ends, the other team you said. Josh, give me some teams, Josh. Are you listening? You're still there. Give me some teams. I've got the thing on here. I'll just um I'll add not here, there we go. Capture oh, Google and then we'll do and again we'll do that. No. Okay, and then so Josh, you're still there, let me know. You are. I will now move it across like that. Yeah, let me know, Josh. And we'll we'll do the spin the wheel at some point when you're ready. In the meantime, hello to anybody else who's just joined the chat on Twitch. Feel free to say hello. Feel free to contribute. Right, let's uh, work through these. Volendam was another one you wanted, wasn't it? He suggested Volendam. Um, you don't want to do Spanish Lee. We go, we've done Lens. Do no, I'll wait. I'll wait for you to come back. You just let me know when you're back, Josh. I'm assuming you're doing something. Yeah, we'll figure it out, Josh. Don't worry. We'll either do it online when I'm streaming or I'll do it offline for you. Right now, uh, got a few players back. We've got Trubin in goal, Livermento is right back, Diamande and Botman in the centre of defence, Hartman on the left, Bruno and Pedro Gonzalez in midfield, Messi on the right, Graham Diaz as shadow striker, Gordon on the left, and Kunha Kuhn up front. Let's see if he can do well for us. If anybody else on the, the Twitch chat, if they're a bit stuck on who to manage on Football Manager, feel free to let me know. I will... If you, I will ask you for suggestions on countries that you want to manage, leagues that you might want to manage, teams that you might want to manage, and then I will do a live random spin the wheel football manager for you. And we'll just eliminate one team after the other until it gives you the team that you end up managing. You know, ever that it, it picks you, you then have to, well, you don't have to, it's up to you, but it would be good then to then you to do the same with them. Pedro with a great little goal. 
Josh, would you want me to put some? What other what other countries do you want to potentially manage in? I know you've said Italia. Oh yeah, we'll put Fiorentina in there. Said Fiorentina. Um, the other teams, I can't remember. Right, we've one nil up. Bum ba dum bum bum. Um, if you have been watching me on Twitch, please um feel free to subscribe. So it helps me, and also it lets me know that people are interested in this. Um, if you're not interested in this because you're not particularly bothered about Newcastle or you find it too easy of a save. Let me know. I'm basically only going to be doing this season um, and maybe next season. I mean, originally it was only going to be a free season save. I was hoping to win the Champions League in them three years, and I haven't. So I still feel like the, the, the save, this, this save needs me to win the Champions League for it to be um, complete. So hopefully we can do that next season because we unfortunately won't be able to do it this season as we only finished fifth last year. What me. Um Anybody else in the chat, if you've got any suggestions for teams for um, Zona Mr. FM, who's my friend Josh, um, to manage, we'll put them in the spin the wheel. Um, then we'll hopefully you never know that team might get picked that you suggest. Uh, yeah, the more teams, the better. It'll make it entertaining Twitch anyway. Right, Messi, a beautiful little ball. Pedro Gonzalez. I feel like Deli Ali was to thank for that because he's just in the team. Seems like a good luck charm, Deli Ali. Every time, every time he plays, we win. Look, he's got a seven point one rating. He is the man. That's all that for a team. Beautiful. We've got Deli Ali. We've got Messi. We've got we've got Sun, and we've got Kuna, and we've got Osnem. What a team! A great team. And we've got really good defense as well. Actually, we're very good first team. Unfortunately, we just lack the depth. Anyway, Coot with a great little turn, but he misses with the shot. Sorry about that, I got distracted with other things. Right. 2-0 up. We won 2-0. Deli Ali should have been man of the match, but he probably wasn't. But yeah, we're now fifth. 18 points, one point behind the top four. The Luton's still doing well. They were doing well first. They were second after the first game of the season. I'm amazed they're still in the premiership. They've been in the premiership um the three seasons I've been managing Newcastle. So fair play to Luton. They're proving people wrong. Right, so uh praise him. Got leads in the next game. 
Gonna rest a few players for that one. I'm gonna play Deli Ali as the Shadow Striker again. He's gonna play again and hopefully do well. He wants to he wants to uh, single handedly win us the Carabao Cup, I think. Uh okay. Anderson Durate is playing well now, so I'm gonna give him a little bit of praise. Oh, look. oh yeah, I can. Okay. Praise. Bone spell. Sorted. Um convinced. Yeah, anybody that's um, been watching this stream, I do appreciate it. If, I know it's um Randy's somebody's watched it before and I really appreciate him because don't get me wrong, I appreciate my friends like Josh watching. Um, but it's nice to have new people that don't know because I feel like they're watching it out of support for me, which is great, I understand. And I really do appreciate my friends joining in. Um, it's nice to chat with Josh as well. Um, but yeah, all, like anybody that I don't know on a personal level that's watching, I appreciate you as well because it means that you're invested in the content and, and you like me for me and not the fact that I'm your friend. So yeah, so I really appreciate it. Um, right, Pedro Gonzalez was in the Premiership Team of the Week. Hate it when you praise a player and they moan at you for praising them. God's sake. Well, that talent he jumps is out for uh, six to seven months. That's not ideal. Right, Cal Bell Cup. Okay. We do full rotation. Uh, that's not full rotation. Deli Alley's not. Oh, he is playing. He's playing in the centre midfield. No, we want him here and he's going to roll. Uh, we'll swap him. Oh, no, we won't. We ain't got nobody else. We're lacking in the centre with, aren't we? Right, okay. So, uh, got Costa in goal, Libramento is right back, Mancini back in defence with Inecio, Dante as left back, Hartman in, in the uh, midfield position with Brian Diaz, Almiron back in the team as right wing, Kelly Ali in shadow striker position, Gordon as left wing, and Calvert Lewin. Well, let's see what we can do. Ah, right. Have we got the first highlight in our favour? Come on, give it to Deli Ali. Deli Ali will score. Where is he? There he is. Give it to him. Give it to him over there. Deli Ali. Come on. Should have given it to Deli Ali. Deli Ali will score it. Hopefully, Deli Ali. My my aim is to get Deli Ali to watch this one day. Hopefully. Um, Chronicles of Deli Ali, who should call it. Whenever I start a new save, I'm going to try and always sign Deli Ali, whether it's I'm playing for a big team or a small team. Raheem Diaz in the unfamiliar position of centre midfield scores. But well, that's been a relatively quiet game so far. Right, in nature. Back to Costa now. We feel like we're going at a snail's pace here. Come on, lads. Boring the, boring the people watching here. Right, Dante. Oh, that was a terrible pass, Dante. Come on. Well, better than that, usually. Dante played really well in the last Carabao Cup game. He got a goal and got an assist as well. Really impressed me, to be honest. Uh, right, Almiron out wide to Brahim Diaz. Brahim Diaz back to Almiron. Almiron now. Gordon with the goal. I feel like somehow, honestly, Deli Ali was to uh, thank for that. 
You back on there, Josh? What's that, though, mate? Oh. <laughs> no, I'm not joking, mate. You got you got stuff to do. You got stuff to do. Um, right, we're tuning up. He has an and Gordon with the goals. We'll uh, take off. We're going to take off Hartman already. You bloody knackered. Can't believe it for now. Wait for the second half to start. Oh, maybe we should take off Hartman. He just got bumped. Uh, we'll leave it for a bit. Wait until like the 60th minute and then we'll start. Players off. Nice. Got another, got another highlight in our favour. Yes, we have. And we're on to Livermento. Raheem Diaz. Raheem Diaz with his second goal. He's doing quite well in the centre of midfield, isn't he? Right, okay. We definitely need to take off. Gordon, put Adiku on there, Hartman, put Bafe there, Memento's knackered, which is not good because we don't really have any natural right left. So we put Taylor and then Bellis, whatever his name is, Harwood Bellis, sorry. Got another goal in this. I want Deli Ali to score to be honest. I encourage him. I'm gonna encourage him. That counts. Right, Mbappe nicks the ball off uh Siniesta. Slowly gets across somehow and then loses the ball. That was a complete waste of time, wasn't it? Um oh, good save by Al that goalie. Come on, Deli Ali. I want you to contribute. Right, Brahim Diaz is knackered. Rips on. Find that position. There we go. We'll encourage you. Encourage you, Deli. I'm not going to shout at you. We're just going to encourage you. Okay. It's going to be like a man possession now. You're going you're gonna to score now. I think my partner's asleep, so I'm... No, right. He hits it. Oh, I was hoping that would be a goal then. Come on, Deli. No, it's... I'm demanding more. Okay, so that'll do anything. Got two minutes. No? Oh, well. I don't care, Deli. You're still my favourite. Right, we're through to the next round of the Carabao Cup. That's played very well in that centre midfield position. Uh, Luciano, you need to get then off. Bit better. Um, yeah. We've got a new youngest ever player right here. I didn't even know we were playing, but yeah. Keeper. Was he playing? Did he go in the last game? I thought Costa was in goal. Costa not in goal. Yeah, Costa was in goal. Then Sherman come on? Well, I don't know. Anyway, he played well. 7.0 rating when you come on. But substituting my goalkeeper. Right, Norwich next. I'll try and catch up with AEW Wrestling. I've got about three weeks worth of, uh, of their stuff to catch up on. I haven't watched the pay per view from a few weeks ago. Um, happens. In, this is what happens at times. Sometimes you don't have enough time to watch everything you want to watch. Not a bad thing though. After focusing on this more, 
I want to try and make this something that I something that I enjoy. I can like talk to people like Josh and that, my mate, and uh, playing the game. And but also I can potentially hopefully one day make money from. Not saying any time in the immediate future, and it might not even happen. People way more experienced in doing this than me that probably still haven't been monetized. So I'm realistic in the fact. Um, we've got the second best youth academy. What's that? Sense surely. I mean, yeah, I know we've produced. Oh, okay, I'm not going to argue with it. I just feel like it's a bit of a hollow. I feel like this team's way better than us that produce better players than we are. Not complaining though. Uh, I'm a back pair for three, four weeks. Um, we are racking up injuries like they don't know tomorrow. Right, Newcastle versus Fulham in the next round of the Carabao Cup. We're uh, quite a lot in debt as well. We've got 13 million in debt. Got a uh, yeah, we're not we're not we're not doing well here. Probably still get a massive transfer budget though because the, the chairman will just the owner will just eliminate all the debt. There you go. It's, it's almost if you if you listen to me. We've now got a boosted budget. None of it's going in the transfer or wage budget though, but at least it. Um, right. We're currently fifth at the moment. Yeah, after nine games played, 18 points. Couple of, we're three points, four points away from Arsenal, which is better than last season. We're about 12 points behind Man City. And Ali Inju. I oh, know he's all right. Can't play it. Uh, right. Okay. Do that and that. All right. So here's the lineup. Trubin in goal, Libermento is right back, Diamande and Ienchio in defence. Dante is left back, Botman and Joe Linton in midfield. Messi on the right, Gonzalez in uh, shadow strike position. Tom left wing and Osimhen up front. Kick off slowly but surely. Hotman with a lovely little pass back in Norwich's uh, possession. Bloody hell, that was a hell of a kick that was by Gun. Playing rugby or American uh, American football. Wasted in the uh, championship with Norwich, he should be definitely using that, that uh, toe poker foot of his. Right, Diamande, Memento. Messi and the Maestro do gives it to Joe Linton, who then gives it to Livermento, shoots with his left and scores. Rare goal from Livermento, his left foot as well. Not not one. He's a right foot player. I don't think he's left foot. I don't know if he's both. He left footed. No, he's definitely he's preferred right footed. So. That was on his left, wasn't it? I actually helped my friend who was right footed successfully um, manage to convert him into a both, to play both. So I trained him up on his left, which was really weird for him, but for a few weeks of us practicing together, he managed to get really good on both feet. Um, he's, he's lucky, he's quite, a, he's one of them lucky players that can be quite skillful. So, He's a little bit older than me, but he's quite he used to do cross country running when he was a kid. So he's got that he's got all that stamina in him. He can he can play all game and never get tired. Scrawny little bugger as well, so he doesn't have much weight to carry around with him. If I run, I can feel my bloody ass me. <laughs> feel the weight of my ass. Um. So yeah, I don't like running. I'm not built for running me. Right. Um. Hopefully Josh will be back before the end of the stream so we can do do that random team generator thing for him because I think it might be interesting watching that. But I think he's busy at the moment, so I'll leave him to it. Can't do it today. We'll do it, we'll do it tomorrow. Or not tomorrow. We'll, we'll do it next time I'm on stream. 
You probably won't. You probably won't find a team anyway. Might actually, you might actually. You might. Right. Norwich with the throw in. One nil up, but we could do with another goal. Settle the nerves a bit. We've got possession though. Botman with a beautiful little pass. Messi knocks it over to Joe Linton. Joe Linton bombs forward now with a great pass to Pedro. Pedro blasts it, hits the post. What can we do with this? Yeah, but I apologise to anybody who was watching earlier. And I had to restart my computer. Um, I will hopefully try and get that sorted next stream. I'll also try and get the chat up on here as well so people can see the conversations that are happening, not just hearing me talking. That will be my main goal for the weekend because I won't be streaming on the weekend. I never usually do. So today is the last day and, and then I may not be doing it. on. I think Monday I won't be doing it. But I'll be back on Tuesday and I'll be doing Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday next week. Hopefully streaming and then... And then every day I'll be putting videos on YouTube. So it's just the, the streaming commitment um, I won't be able to do. But yeah, Twitch, probably four times a week I'll be Twitch streaming, depending on the, on the week. Uh, and then YouTube, hopefully I'm going to produce videos every day. A little goal by the GOAT, Messi. He's been a great signer for us, Messi. I mean, I know that sounds stupid, it's bloody Messi. He's really, he's really done well. He's, like I said, he got 10 goals from 26 games last season with 7 assists. He's already got 3 goals and 6 assists for the season this season. It's almost as if this, this feels like his last season and I feel like he's just going all out. I feel like he thinks, well, this is my last season. I'm going to put everything in. Hopefully win Newcastle on another title. He's already won the Spanish... The Liga and the I think he won the French League with PSG. So hopefully he wants to try and win the English Premiership before he retires. It'd be a perfect little way for him to retire. Um right, it's our free kick anyway. Okay, so let's try and see this game out now. We're three 0 up. We don't. We want to keep a clean sheet. Hopefully, we can. Yep. Yeah. Anybody wants to watch a uh, rubbish football match? But oh my god, what a pass! That was a beautiful pass. We're watching that goal again. Um, yeah, Burnley versus Luton in uh, playing today. Night in real life. Anybody want to watch it? Joe Linton with a beautiful crisp pass to Gonzalez for the goal. Beautiful goal. Bear with us, everyone. Okay, it's fine. Right. Zarvis. Um, yeah, just bear with me. My uh, my girlfriend's just gone to the toilet, so um, like I like I like to keep my identity anonymous, even though people mostly watching this know who I am. Um, oh, what a beautiful pass, but also she wants to keep anonymous, so you know, out of respect for her, when she needs to quickly go out the room, uh, we will move the camera, and when she comes back through, I'll put the camera back, so please don't panic that you can't see me at the moment. Uh, it's not exactly a bad thing, if you want to see my boring face. Yeah, try not to panic, I'm, I am still here. Bear with us. Yeah, we're 5-0 up. Doing well. We got another goal before the end of this game. Yes, we bloody have. We've absolutely destroyed Norwich, Norwich in this game. We've done really well. Done very well. I 
Go. Messi. We've got another one. Are we going to get seven? Are we? Are we just are we just taking the mitt now, just passing it around? Yeah, we, I don't think we can. Oh, got a penalty maybe. Penalty awarded. Okay. Point the camera that way anyway, so it's fine. Oh. Right, so we just got another goal. Final Messi with a penalty. Has he got a hat trick? No, he got two goals. Zavis got the hat trick. Yeah, good well. Yeah, we're back. See my lovely face on camera now. Um. Mento is injured now, which is great because we've got Coyote injured. We even got any right backs? We got oh Coyote is back there. Okay. I suppose we could play our youngsters, and obviously we got Harvard Bayless. See, this is why we sign players like him because of dream injury situations happening. And we've got a few players knackers, we'll rest them. They're all from our youth team. Let's just get rid of these youth team. Uh the first team's all right. Messi can keep going. Saudi Arabian team's after him, but we're not gonna let him go. Napoli after the HO, but he's not going either, I don't think. Uh, we're just gonna uh I was gonna holiday then I forgot I don't holiday on Twitch. So we won't go on holiday, we'll just work our way through these so people can see what's going on. And people prefer it when I do it this way. Um, ah, okay. Absolutely destroyed Norwich in that game. 7-0. Currently 4 for 21 points after 10 games played. 4 points behind Arsenal still. But um, our aim is to win the Champions League. We don't necessarily need to win the Premier League again, but we definitely need to win the Champions League next season. We, can, we need to at least qualify this season. We already won the Premiership in the first season, so I feel like the mission will be complete once we win the Champions League. Um, hopefully we can do it. Hopefully we can do it next season. Hopefully we can win the Premiership though as well. That would be nice. But then if we win the Premiership, it'll help us bring in Better players, world class players. Definitely need to get top four though. Higher, higher up the league, the better. Bruce is not happy. Well, you can bugger off then. Sign him on a free. If we get any money for him, it's a bonus. Um, yeah, all right. Well, Botman wants to leave, but all good you saying, you know, you're not happy that you know because I won't let Botman leave. It's not a process of not letting him leave. It's a process of no clubs are giving me a decent offer for him, and I'm not going to just send him for peanuts. It doesn't benefit you. It only benefits him. It doesn't benefit you. You're all idiots, basically. All right, Botman's transfer listed. Had, oh, one one. We have five of our players in the team of the week, which is understandable because we won uh, five nil. Messi, Gonzalez, Joe Linton, EHO, and Osimhen was in the. Joe Linton's out for a few days. All right, he'll be back by the time this game starts. I'm worried that Haaland's going to go to Saudi Arabia. It'd be really annoying because it means we'll never be able to sign him. Or we'll never be able to match his wages that he's having in Saudi Arabia. A bit frustrating. I hope he doesn't go there. 
I don't want these big stars going to Saudi Arabia because I think it just ruins the uh, European football. Maybe it's uh, a bit uh, bad, a bit a bad take by me to say that, but uh, um. Is it now? Yeah, we'll play for another half an hour. We'll call it a day. Have a nice relaxing weekend this weekend. I'm not doing anything. Me and my girlfriend are going to just chill out. We watch a few films. Relax. We've had a bit of a stressful week because last week I got told by my landlord because I refused to pay extra in rent because he wanted to put my rent up and I said I'm not paying it. So he's given me a section 21. So I've been trying to find somewhere affordable, which is not possible when you uh, miss economy at the moment. So um, my option is basically to move in to my girlfriends. So we're looking to do that soon. And we're looking at other alternatives as well, but yeah, at the moment it's a bit stressful for everybody involved, but we'll figure it out. Hello to anybody that's just joined the chat and just joined the Twitch stream. Nice to meet you. Feel free to say hello. If you've got any questions about the save, feel free to ask. Here we go. True winning goal. Aodi is back as right back. Diamande and Botman in defence. Partners left back. Tonali and Bruno Gomez in midfield. Messi and Pedro and Son. And then Osinen. And Probably our strongest team, I'd say, maybe. I'd say Tonali, maybe. Uh, Tonali is playing, yeah. So Tonali and Bruno is probably the best field combination. Joe Linton's good, obviously, but Ali's probably slightly better. Just, uh, um, um, he's just a, a little, he's younger, but he's also a better ability than Joe Linton. But Joe Linton's a really good player. He's a, he's a Newcastle legend, really, when you think about it. That is not the ideal start that we want. We'll demand more. Hopefully that'll fix it in some ways. Uh, anyways, just join the Twitch. If you're stuck for ideas for FM, let me know, and I will try and help you with team recommendations or you're managing and you need a certain player, you need a certain position feel. Feel free to ask me in the chat. Here to help. If you have any other questions about life, if you think uh, I could help, let me know. If you're new to content creation, I'm new as well, but I might be able to help you in some way, whether it's recommend um, video editing software. I use um, Microsoft or Microsoft uh, Clip Champ. I use that to make my videos. It's very easy to use. If I can figure out how to do it, um, anybody can. It took me a while to figure it out, but I managed to do it. Um, and that's it really. I use canva.com for to make my thumbnails and logos and stuff like that. So if you're all, if you're brand new or you're thinking about doing it, obviously go for it because at the end of the day, if anything, you might make some new friends um, and have a nice chat with people and might like your content. So it's uh, it's nice to see. Makes you feel good. So yeah. Yeah, if you've got any questions about that, let me know. Like I said, I'm new, but I've done a lot of research into it. I've, I've, I've watched a lot of videos, and I'm learning every day. We are not doing well in this game. No, we're not. And Nanny needs to come off. Okay, so Joe Linton, you're coming on. And go around. Okay. All right, come on. Get a goal before half time. Let's give us a chance of getting something out of this game. That's ambitious. I don't know what's happened to Josh. He's there. You're there, Josh. Say hello. 
I hope you're alright, mate. <laughs> Probably having, having to actually do some work for a change. Right, Joe Linton. Hey, Ode. Joe Linton now. Is he going to make a difference in this game? Not so far, he's not. Right, we've still got the ball though. Pedro. Messi loses it, unfortunately. Get it back. They're determined to get a goal, aren't we? By the looks of it. They are not letting them get away with this. Yes. That went a bit too fast for my liking. We'll watch that again. And we'll slow it down. But there we go. So it started with Hartman. Then passed it to... I think then passed to Osimhen. It was a bit. The players were in the way. I couldn't really see it, but yeah. So we've got a in now. Can we get another goal before? Um, an equaliser give us a chance of potentially turning this into a victory. Right, Pedro Gonzalez. Corner. Header. Header. Gonzalez. Oh, okay. Well, that was worth it, wasn't it? Right, Messi, unfortunately, is not playing very well. But we'll put no in there. He can do better. Anybody else we need to take? Uh, maybe Bruno. Find it in a minute. Right, let's see what we can do here. Oh, nearly. All right, Mancini's just come on for the nature. Right, we've got a free kick. Hey, Ode. Pedro out wide to Sun. Sun with a beautiful little pass and a lovely goal by Gonzalez. Good, we've managed to get this game back and we've got to try and push on and win. Uh, I can't take Hartman off in the wing, though. Right, we're back in possession again. Hartman to Mancini, AOD. Now into Joe Linton. Joe Linton out wide to Luna. In and out. Still keeps the ball to Joe Linton. Joe Linton with a beautiful pass or some. Nice. Doing well. Right, so we're three two up. You need one. I think we need another goal to kill this game off. As the Bournemouth have got it in them to get an equaliser, but um, if we keep if we win this game, we're we're going to turn into second with one point behind Arsenal, so that'll be good. Try and get another goal. Oh, for that for a ball, that was beautiful. Ko day side to Jolin out in back into Mancini. Mancini now, what can he do? Ko day now. We're having great success on that right wing, just like um, pass, driving the ball into the box. See if we can do well on the left as well. Pedro testing the keeper out, unfortunately, doesn't go anywhere. No. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to get another goal then. Okay, still might. Son. He's make a, making a good impact so far, son. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Shiza, right near the end of the game as well, making it very difficult for us to bloody win. <sighs> I had a feeling this was going to happen as soon as I said 3 2 up. Oh well. Our chances of getting closer to Arsenal. We're, uh, we're still, um, we got a game ahead of us, so is Liverpool, though. That's, uh, yeah, we really should have won that. Right, Hartman's injured. 14 days should be back for the next game because the next game's in 14 days. Is you some? Right, let's just go through these days as quickly as we can. Uh, what's everybody having for the tea then? I don't, I won't be having anything. I'm still full from that Burger King earlier. I might have cheese on toast, I probably won't even have that. Or just munch on chocolate. 
chocolate and yogurts. That order. Everybody going out this weekend? Any any plans? Any weekend plans for you lot? Foster happy to stay. Okay, fair enough. Right. Um, okay. The best players in the world. Have we got any in ours? We've got Messi, who's 28, and Osman is 39. Won't we third a second? Okay, so Liverpool played their game, but I think they lost. Whereas with six points, we're all so basically everybody's played eleven games now. They're six points ahead of us. That's really annoying. But we're still on track for top four at the moment. These are not very good. Better than nothing. Let's try five million. Happy with that. Five million with you, probably say no. I don't know, you're happy with that, that's fine. Uh, that'll be a nice five million uh, pounds for a player that we got signed for a free transfer in the summer. Always good, not as good as De Gea, who I signed in the first season, played four games, and then we sold him in next season for 15 million. So that was a good profit. All right, Josh, welcome back, my friend. Um, have you got any teams that you, uh, here you go, Josh, we'll have a little pause for a second on the game. If I show you here, I don't need to show you on here. But there you go. These are the teams so far I've picked. Is that, uh, well, I'll put on there. Is there any teams that you want to add to it? Let me know what teams you want to add to that. I will add them. And then we will do the spin the wheel live. How about that? Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Any other teams? Any any other countries that you might want to manage in? Uh, just let me know as quickly as possible when you can. Strasbourg, okay, that's a good option. Any other French teams? I've already put Lens in. So they're the two. Strasbourg and Lens. Any other... French league teams. While you're having a think, I'll. Uh... Oh, you don't like that? Yeah, okay, that's fair enough. I added them because you you managed them years ago, but that was probably before you realised. So we'll get rid of them. We've got rid of Lazio. Right, give us some teams that you do want to manage in. Want me to put any? What's the Italian? I've already put. Udinese, Atlanta, and Fiorentina for the Italian teams. Any other Italian teams? Any other French teams? A second. You'll see me. Oh. Oh. To clean my glasses. That's better. Come on, Josh, have you disappeared? What's going on? Still there, mate. I'm going to carry on with the game. You are. Now, come on, give me some more options. I'll just leave it as that. What other countries do you want to manage in? The more teams we've got, the better. A bit of a lag. Oh, okay. Sorry, buddy. Um, take your time. I'll carry on with 
game. I just need to move this over here. So if I just move it over here out of the way. Uh, yeah, move it there for now. Right, okay. You just let me know. If you think of any other countries, any other teams, take your time. I'm going to keep going through this while I'm waiting for you. By the time I come back, you'll hopefully give me some more suggestions. There's no rush anyway, just take your time. I'm trying to make it better for you, really. Uh, Griezmann wants to stay now. Make a cheeky offer for Griezmann. Uh, can't afford him anyway. David Guzan. Let's see the wheel again. Okay, just bear with us. Let me just add David. David. You'll get bored at Leverkusen though, they're doing really well in real life, you'll get bored of them easily. I'll add them though. Um, right, okay. Right, let me just show you the wheel again. There we are, like that. I'll just carry on going through these days on here. Anything interesting comes up on the news items, I'll box items I'll show everybody but by the looks of it nothing so far. Yeah so I've added Leverkusen and Josh if there's any more. So let's go through the countries. I don't think you want to manage in England by the sounds of it. You probably don't want to manage in Scotland. French teams you've already given me two. Is there any other French teams that you might want to manage in? Zarvez gets his um first goal for Portugal by the way. Brewster, Brewster, Rian Brewster's gone to Middlesbrough for 5 million. That's uh, helped put that in the wage budget. Uh, we're still 200 grand, 300 grand over the wage budget though, so we do need to make some cutbacks. With Everybody's probably looking at this going, what, what is this? how's this football manager when it's just a spin the wheel thing? In fact, I'm going to move it over here now, Josh. Just let me know. Move out there so people can watch the screen. But yeah, have a think. You've got, you've got 20 minutes to think of as many countries and teams as possible. And then just before I go, I will we'll do the random team selector for you. We will end on a high. Okay, so I'll leave Leverkusen in there. Right, so. Any other German teams? Stuttgart, maybe. Um, uh, quite a few, actually. Wolfsburg, Werder Wemmen. Wolfsburg was obviously they used to be a strong team many years ago, didn't they? And they're kind of not in that performing that well, so they might be a decent team for you. Yeah, I'll add Stuttgart then. Add Stuttgart. I'll put, I'll put Wolfsburg as well, just in case you might want to manage them. Unless you don't want, unless there's political reasons for Wolfsburg again, I don't know. Completely forgot about Lazio and, and their fans. Botman gets his first international goal. Netherlands. Um, Randy would be very happy. Botman Dutch. Yeah, he's Dutch. Okay. Right, not much else is happening. You can't think of any other teams, Josh. That's fine. I can I can do it. Does that? You got like 15, 20 minutes. Just any idea, any other teams? Go for all the um the main six leagues. Um, if there's any teams outside the top six leagues, let me know as well, and I'll add them. Like if you've ever if you've wanted to manage Anderlecht or Club Bruges or Ghent or Genk in Belgium, let me know. I'll add them. The rule is whichever team it picks for you, you have to then manage. So uh, you can't say, oh, I don't want to manage them. Only, pick, only tell me teams that you do genuinely want to manage and that 
Monaco? Okay. I'll add Monaco. Any other French league teams? Laurent? But Laurent in their lovely orange. Oh, okay, then. Fair enough. Um, any other French teams? Lorient? Uh, I've already put Lens in there. Strasbourg's in there. I had a really good save with FC Mets years ago. They produced a very good... Uh, they've produced very good young players over the years. All right, so here's our lineup for Wolves. We've got Trubin in goal, Coyote is right back, Mancini in centre defence with Inecio, uh, Amadou Dante is left back, Bruno Gamera is Italian in midfield, Messi on the right, Pedro Gonzalez in the middle, Son on the left, and Osimen up front. Okay, I'll get rid of Wolfsburg then. So I've got rid of Wolfsburg for you. Yeah, Mets produced Ribéry as well, didn't they? Do you want me to put FC Mets in there? No highlights in the game so far, I don't think. We win this game, we'll be... 25 points, we'll be 3 points behind us, but they obviously got a game in hand. I think at the top here. What about Bordeaux? You managed Bordeaux at one point, didn't you, when we did a network say? You you were Bordeaux and you had that Brazilian striker who was like like 40 years old. I can't remember his name now. Do you remember him? Didn't he do didn't he score a few for you? He was 40 years old. Oh, that's not good. Right. Great in the team. We're not having this. We're not losing this game. I don't know if we drew against bloody Bournemouth. Come on, Newcastle. Do it for the Geordies. Oh, we've definitely done a network save, you and me. You, we, did it, we did one with... Um, we've done a few of them. We, we might not have done... I, I thought we'd done one where I was Valencia and you were... Let's go in Madrid. I think that was the first one we did. And then, oh, the little localizer bias, but might be this loud. Um, we also did one where you were Lazio and I was Roma. You kept beating me because you had bloody Imm Immobile, Imm Immobile, whatever his name is. We've definitely done a few network games. We didn't, we haven't done them for long. We also did a French league network game where you were Bordeaux and we had like one or two other people, but it just kind of, like, like most of our network games, they kind of just bolted out. We definitely have done network saves together. Fine if you can't remember though, mate, because it was so long ago, I don't blame you. Right, we're having to make a lot of substitutions because a lot of players are getting knackered. Um, kind of ruins the stride of our team now. So hoping to get a point out of this. Oh, we don't want to lose. Let's fire up the players. Yeah. Wasn't it during COVID? Wasn't it during the first lockdown when we did that French League one? I could be wrong. Yeah, the French one. I was... I can't remember who I was. Was I sent Entenay? I think I was sent Entene and you were Bordeaux and or was somebody else sent Entene? Oh, I can't remember who. I can't remember who I was. I remember who you were, but I can't remember who I was. Right, can we get a let equaliser? Literally the last kick of the game, can we? Yes, we can. Go on, Ossiman. Oh, come on, ref. Bugger off. Referee's going to be the villain here, isn't he? Oh, okay. Maybe not. Right, that's good. That's good. Rescue a point out of there. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, I was sent home today. Um, right, what time's it now? Right, I'm gonna. I've got. We've got enough time for one more game, and then we're gonna do the live draw. So keep thinking of teams that you want. You might want to manage. Are there any teams that you've never managed before, but you've always fancied managing in 
any league. We go through the leagues. Let's go through the leagues. Right. So let's spend a couple of minutes on each one. Right. Have you done enough French teams? Is there enough French teams there? Is there any others that you wanna you might want to manage in? Have a look at the French league. Have a look at the just have a quick look at the at the league table and just see if there's any teams that stand out. Just so we can get the French league out and done with. So okay. Okay, so we'll leave the French league then. Right, have a look at the you don't want to do Spanish league. Have a look at the German league. Have a look at see if there's any other teams than the ones that we've mentioned. We'll do the we'll do the German league, and then once you've had a quick look at the German team, German league, we'll go through the Italian teams, and then we'll have a look at the other ones just before we start the draw. Maybe the Dutch league or the Portuguese league or the Belgian league or I don't know a league. Is there any countries that you've never managed before, but you wouldn't you wouldn't mind managing in? Definitely not the MLS. That the rules in the MLS are very confusing. Then again, you could do a you could do a save with Inter Miami, and uh, you'd have Messi there and Jordi Alba and Busquets. If I was going to do an MLS save, it would have to be Inter Miami for me. Okay, so you've done the German league, right? Italian league. Have you picked? Have you picked all the Italian teams that you might want to manage in? Is there like an Austrian? Is it what about the Austrian league or anything like that? Any like really low down leagues, or so, so to speak? Empoli, okay, yeah, that's fine. I'll add Empoli to it. Any of us? Any other Italian teams? Any other? Sure, you definitely don't want to do the Spanish league because of the rules. There might be, there might be, there, there might be um, a data file that you can download where it gets rid of that the wage cap or whatever it is bound to be. I'll have a quick look. Uh, library. Manager. Not that you can see this, by the way. Um, Spanish. Um, no, nah, there isn't. There isn't, unfortunately, a file for the Spanish League. So we'll leave the Spanish League. Oh, you don't use any editor files, that's fine. Um, no, nah, that's fine. Right, so we're not doing Spanish League. Done. The others. Right, give me other, any other countries like Belgium, Austria. Places like that. Is there any teams in them, the them leagues? What about the Dutch league that we spoke about earlier? Any teams in there, or they're just not really taking your fancy? Last thing I want to do is is pick a team that you're not that bothered about, and then if you end up getting them, it's just going to make you not that interested in doing the same. Right, this probably will be. Yeah, this will be. What time is it? Yeah, this will be the last game of the day. But then after this game, we will do the draw for the team for my friend Josh to pick on Football Manager, which probably won't excite anybody other than me and Josh. But yeah, uh, it'll be interesting either way. Right, here's the lineup for the Leicester City game. Ruben in goal, Livermento is right back, Mancini and Inche are in defence, Botman is left back, Bruno and Joe Linton midfield, Putin on the right, Bruno in the middle, Gordon on the left, and Messi up front. Right, so no, okay, that's fine. You've still got a few minutes if you change your mind. Um, have a quick look on, I don't know, like soccerway.com or something. See if there's any other leagues, countries, and that, while you've got a few minutes. Um, and then when I finish this game, I'll just do the draw. Anyway, we're in possession. Livermento, Joe Linton, Alton Mancini, Livermento, Boot, to Bruno. 
Uh, I don't know what happened there. anybody else is in the twitch stream and you want to make a prediction um before we spin the wheel who you reckon josh is going to end up who i'm going to pick for josh please feel free to add in the chat room see what you think oh messy oh messy come on you do better than that usually Right, we've uh, got the first highlight of the second half. Let's see what we can do with this. Mancini with the ball out wide to Livermento. Livermento drives forward, passes it to Coop. Coop does a bit of skill, crosses it in. Good little head of Okuna. Yeah, no worries. I will do. Just let me finish this game first, Josh. Don't worry. Have a, have a, just have a quick think and just see if you just want to add any more teams. More teams are better. Only teams that you really want to manage in, don't just put them in there. Like it. The last thing I want to do is you start a new save and then get bored after a week. Is there any premiership teams that you want to manage that you've never managed before? Maybe a Crystal Palace, a Brentford? Maybe you could do a youth only save with them, or are you just not? If, you, if you're bored of the English League, that's fine, I understand. I'll throw a curveball here and I can suggest a uh, youth only save with Wigan Athletic. I might be doing that at some point. Um, Twitch, but you know what you might want to do that where you only you can only play players that are uh, that you got already. You can't make any signings. I think with you, you get bored because you sign all the best players, and then of course you're going to win. So I think you need to put some restrictions in place when it comes to transfers. Maybe you do it where you don't sign anybody, or you, you could pick a team and only sign former academy players. So you could pick a team like Leverkusen and only sign former Leverkusen. Uh, academy players or something, so you can still sign players, but you can only sign them. Oh, great little ball. Tenali, get in. Destroying Leicester City in this game. Right, Kuna. Oh, I can't make any more subs. Okay. Yeah, okay. No, that's fair enough. Why don't you start with an English lower league team, though? What about a team with, like, no money and and... You can only um, bring players through the youth system. So like a team with not very much money. That would be more challenging for you. I think you'd enjoy that more personally. If you're going to be a decent team like Leverkusen and, and teams like that, um, you're just going to get bored easily, I think, because you'll win the league easily. I think you need to start with a team that's not in the top league. Is there any lower league teams, whether it's England, France, Spain, um, Germany, Italy? You can add some more teams like that just to, just to give you more options. Shoot now. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. The AR check. Yes, penalty awarded. Right, Messi, the GOAT. Are you going to get another goal for us? Lines it up. Ah, oh, keeper saves it. That's all right, though. That's all right. We can, we're all right. We're still winning. We're going to be second now with uh, three points behind Arsenal. Um, right, Joe Linton is injured for two weeks. Gordon's out for three or four. Yeah, put it there, three to five days. Look at his lovely smiley face. Ah, oh, look at this beautiful man. Look at him smiling. Smiling because he scored. Right, I'm just going to keep going through this until the next game. Uh, any other, any lower league teams? Josh, while I'm, waiting, while I'm just about to finish up on here. No worries if you can't think of any. It's fine. I think whichever team we pick for you, you'll probably get bored after a couple of seasons anyway. I'm trying to make it harder for you so you don't get bored.
Right, I'm playing uh, Leicester City in the FA Cup at some point. Got a bit of next game, but I'm going to save it in a second. Uh, just do that and that. Hopefully when we come back we can just go straight into the next game then. Instead of waiting around for all these days to process. Josh, you got about probably one minute to think of any other teams. If you can't think of any more, just let me know and then I'll start the... I've saved this, I'll start it. Oh, we've got, a, we got a, uh, an increase on the wage budget, which is good. If we, were, if we adjust this, we can, but we won't. We'll just leave us that. Hopefully, in January, we'll get more money for transfers. You're not happy. These whingy players. I'd be happy if I was in the earning. 43 and a half grand a week and he's moaning. You're getting paid to sit on your ass. You get paid 43 grand. You're living the dream, mate. Wish I was getting paid 43 and a half grand for sitting on my ass all the time. Still in the chat, Josh. I assume you are. Just let me know, mate. Drop me a message. I'm going, to start, I'm going to start the draw in a second. I just want to make sure that you're watching. Uh, uh, why have you transfer listed Deli Ali? How dare you transfer list um, Deli Ali? I'm going to sign you a new contract. Yeah. Yeah, we'll sign that. Give you 51 grand, that's fine. This Yeah, that's fine Josh. Alright, bear with me. I'm assuming you're still watching. All right. Uh, I'm gonna save the game now. And we'll get cracking. In fact, I'll do it now. All right, Josh, I'm gonna show you the the wheel. Flip back over here. So you can see. Uh, just let me know. Want me to get rid of any of them teams. I think you need more teams, if I'm honest with you. Not enough for my liking. Um, I'm going to add... Hmm, let me think. I'm going to add this team as my team uh, that I want you to maybe manage. As a... You could do that. You could be Exeter. You can manage Exeter because they're sort of... Near you, maybe not, but they're sort of. Um, and you could do a youth only save with. Well, well I'm, I'm leaving Exeter in there. And if you get picked Exeter, you have to manage them and you can't sign any players. You could only play the players that you've got and um, players that come through Youth Academy. There you go. Sorted. I'm going to add one more. I'm going to put Wigan in there. And that's going to be a youth only save as well. Um. That's it. I'm not going to do any more because it'll just put you off, won't it? So, um, I can't think of there's any other team. No, right. I'm going to start the draw now, Josh. So we'll do one team at a time. So let's start. Okay. Um, oh, right, there we go. No, not share. How do we start this? Do we start? Oh, yeah, spin. There we go. We're going to spin. We're eliminating the first team. The first team we're eliminating is Lens by the looks of it. Oh, no, it's not. Sporting. Sporting's gone. We we'll get rid of Sporting. They're gone. Uh, spin again. And Wigan's gone. That's one of my choices. They're gone. Probably happy about that. <laughs> All right. 
Oh, I don't know what's happened here. What's happened here? Why has it done that? Hold on, we'll just keep spinning. Right. So, that Monaco, Monaco's gone. Right, spin again. AZ, they're gone. They're out of the running. Okay, we're getting less teams now. Uh, Exeter's gone. That's my choice is gone. That's annoying. Well, Exeter would be a good one for you. Right. Slowly, slowly running out of options here. Oh, another one of my options. Volander. Oh, no, Lens. There we go. Lens are gone. Oh, no, I pressed the wrong button here. I don't know. It's all right. It's all right. All right. In. Hope you're happy with these choices of elimination so far. Udinese is gone. I think there's a way of doing it where they just automatically eliminate them instead of me doing it by deleting them, but I don't know how to do it. I'll test it out on the weekend. Deities, they're gone. They were, I think, one of my choices. I think I could be wrong. Atalanta's gone. Um, okay. Oh, for God's sake. Hold on. Good again. All right. Probably going to have errors with like this now. Empoli are gone. Ah, oh, you look like you wanted to manage Empoli as well. All right. So we're now down to. We've got Volendam, Florentina, Strasbourg, Leverkusen, and Stuttgart. Stuttgart's gone. Nice. Down to the four teams left. I've got a feeling it's going to be Volendam. Oh, no, I bloody jinxed us then. Volendam's gone. So your choice is now. You're left with Fiorentina, Strasbourg, and Leverkusen. I don't know why. I don't know why there's empty ones, but just ignore it. So out of them three teams, who do you really want to manage? Let me know. Right. Let's just spin. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, fine. Yeah, spin again. We'll just keep spinning. Spinning around. La, 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 la. Right, Leverkusen's gone. So we're down to two teams. Strasbourg or Fiorentina. Who's it going to be? Oh, okay. Sorry about this, everyone. There's probably, like I said, there is probably a way of doing it. I just don't have to do it. Yeah, we'll just keep doing it. Just, put, just, just bear with us. There we are. Fiorentina's out. So you're managing Strasbourg. There we go. Strasbourg, you were right. Oh, yeah. Happy days. Let me know how you get on with them, Josh. Um, thank you to Josh and... Um, Oh, for God's sake, I forgot his bloody name now. Sorry, uh, Randy. There you go. Sorry, Randy. And also Copsy as well. Um, thank you for joining in. And I'll uh, leave you to it. Have a nice evening. Thank you, Josh. Um, hope you have fun with Strasbourg. Message me after you've done a season or two. Let me know or let me know next time I'm on the stream. Next time I'm on Twitch will be maybe Monday. It'll probably be more likely Tuesday. So just assume it's going to be Tuesday. If it's going to be monday i'll post it on twitter yeah thank you to everyone have a nice weekend and all the best hey josh bye